Lama tertekan akibat gangguan rantai pasok selama pandemi, industri otomotif mulai pulih ke level semula. Ini pun terlihat di banyak showroom di penjuru Amerika Serikat. Cars on the lot. You know, we're starting to see you can get that car the color you want, the content you want. You might even get a test drive this year versus last year where you're buying a sight unseen, but at the same time the price still going to be a little bit hard. When we look at last year when we're the absolute trough, we had some dealers operating with 10% of their normal inventory. You know, across industry averages we say they had like one in four of what they used to have. Today they're at about half. Data terbaru dari Biro Statistik Ketenaga Kerjaan AS menunjukkan harga mobil mulai stabil. Tak berubah dibandingkan bulan sebelumnya, harga mobil bekas bahkan turun rata-rata 0,5 persen dalam sebulan. Mostly good, right? We're not seeing price increases, right? Because if that was the case, you're doubling down in more vehicle finance, more finance charges. That would just be the double whammy. Now you just got to be a little more selective. And you see the vehicle price, but see how much it costs to finance it. Satu lagi perkembangan seputar otomotif adalah warga Amerika Serikat rela menunggu sedikit lebih lama lagi sebelum mereka memutuskan untuk membeli mobil baru. Menurut pantauan S&P Global Mobility, usia rata-rata mobil di jalanan Amerika Serikat mencapai 12 setengah tahun. Terakhir kali warga AS menunggu selama ini sebelum membeli mobil baru adalah saat resesi akbar pada 2008. Yes, I think that cars are more durable. Uh, and perform better than they did, you know, 20, even 10 years ago. I think probably that's a driver, but maybe the main driver is just the just the cost to buy a new car. New cars cost about almost 25% more than they than they used to before the pandemic started, and, and used cars themselves cost 40% more. So uh, it doesn't surprise me in that kind of situation that they would hold on to their car longer. Pada saat yang sama, faktor harga ini juga menghalangi peralihan ke mobil listrik. As we move in the direction of electrification, which is happening in a significant way now, that's also going to increase the price of vehicles. Uh, even with uh, incentives to uh, to purchasers of vehicles that are made largely, if not entirely, in the United States, um, I think we're still going to see the price of vehicles increase. Uh, a leading OEM in the United States recently indicated that uh, they did not think that uh, an electric vehicle would cost less than a conventional vehicle uh, any earlier than 2030 and maybe later. Keengganan banyak warga AS membeli mobil baru juga membuat mereka menunda melepas mobil lama sehingga meningkatkan harga mobil bekas. Cox Automotive memperkirakan harga mobil bekas baru akan stabil pada 2028. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.